So our other kind of dart is a two-ended dart. So it sort of starts and stops within the fabric. It doesn't go to the edge. Um, also called a fisheye dart. And it had four marks. So I'm kind of putting my pins in the holes so that you can see them better. But I made punch holes for these guys. Um, and what we need to do is the two marks at sort of top and bottom, at the, you know, the far ends, are going to be on the fold. So we can fold right there. And then we want to bring these two together. Generally, they're going to fall at the waist. So these are very common darts to place in a tunic or a dress or something where the smallest part would be at the waist. So when we stitch these two ended darts, we follow the half of an inch rule at the ends. So I will start a half of an inch from that punch hole and I will finish a half of an inch from this punch hole. However, this guy, I'm only going to stitch an eighth past him. If we did the half inch rule, then it wouldn't work if I had one that didn't need to be a half of an inch even wide. So we just go an eighth past these waist ones. And we're going to do straight lines again. So it's a straight line from here to here, pivot, straight line to the end. So half of an inch from that edge could even do something like this where I line my punch hole up, get that needle in there. And now I know that's where I need to start. For this one, I'm going to do, I think, just tying a knot at the top for my threads. So I'm leaving a sufficient tail so I can just tie a knot there. Down at the bottom, I'll show you the uh, short stitch length thing. All right. If I need to do my thread trick again, I could to guide myself to an eighth of an inch past that punch hole. So I want you know, remind myself that I want the hole to be within the dart intake so that we don't see it in the garment. When I get there, leave my needle down, and it's just a little bit of a pivot around. And now I'm going down to here. When I get to about there, shorten her up to about an inch, and I'm just going to stitch off. So I've got a few stitches that were made, and I'll leave a little bit of a chain there. The idea being that that's probably not going to come undone. This one will come undone if I don't do something to it, because it's a much longer stitch. So I'll just tie a quick knot. Okay, as always, press it as it was sewn, and then these get pressed to one side. We want it to be nice and flat at the vanishing point ends. Press it over. Let's 
Sometimes we'll end up clipping these guys at the waist or at the sort of widest point just so they release a little because there is a this fold line is shorter than my stitched line but oftentimes you won't see them clipped so we can just leave ours unclipped today the bigger they get the wider they get the more they need to be clipped <laughs> 